Hi everyone, welcome to day 23 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analysis and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we will be solving one of the Amazon data analyst interview question. So let's see the question. Write a SQL query that will identify returning active users. A returning active user is the user that has made a second purchase within 7 days of their first purchase. Output the list of users. So let's see the data that we have in the table. We have ID which is basically the purchase ID, the primary key and then we have user ID, item purchase date and the revenue so let's read the questions one more time so that we can understand it better it says write a query that will identify a returning active users so we need to find this active users now who is active user it says active user is someone who has made a second purchase basically after making their first purchase they have made a second purchase within the seven days so that is basically considered as a active users now in this table we have a uh, same user who has made multiple purchase so simply we need to basically find the user and their first purchase and then we need to see their second purchase if the second purchase within seven days that means that user is the active users so this is how we can solve it so let's write down the things that we need to solve these questions so first we need to find out the users first purchase so find out find out first purchase so we need to find out first purchase of the users then we need to find out the second purchase so second purchase has to be within seven days so less than equals to seven days so the difference between first purchase and the second purchase has to be basically less than equal to seven days right so then we can basically make some join between this a uh, two table two table join both table now we can use a self join basically to uh, join both the table based on basically you know some condition that is how we can solve these questions and lastly we can select the distinct distinct user that is how we will be able to solve these questions so do watch the video till the end because at the end i have added one challenge question which you can solve to basically enhance your sql skills so let's start writing our query let's see how we can find this first purchase so let's say i want to select i want to select the user id which is going to be this one user id and i want to also select basically the purchase date purchase date okay and uh, I want to basically name it called force purchase okay. force purchase now I am getting all this thing from basically the main table which is Amazon transactions so if I just run this query I simply get all the users and basically their uh, you know kind of purchase now same user has done multiple purchase I can do an order by to show you order by one so you can see same user has done multiple purchase mm, sorry i need to just cancel it so you can see 100 user this user has done five purchase so basically i am kind of ordering the data and i'm getting all of the purchase which is we have 100 records so now i don't need order by here now i can do a self join to join the table within itself to make some uh, you know logic let's just give a meaningful name to this table so i'm just giving it called a1 which is basically our first purchase table okay so a1 is basically first purchase table so first purchase table now i need uh, some details from the second purchase table which is basically the purchase date right so this purchase date i need basically the second purchase table now i will be basically you know joining the same table within itself by doing a self join so i'll say join now i'm just naming it called a1 a2 which means basically second purchase table now i'll be joining both the table based on some logic now both the table has same column which is user id isn't it so i can just go ahead and say user user id i can just go ahead and say on a1 dot user id equals to a a2 of user id now if i just show you what are the things i'm getting let's just cut it for now and uh, let's just show you the whole table now you can see i am basically joining the same table with itself and basically i'm getting total how many columns which is total you know 10 columns right so i'm joining the same table now i can basically build some logic to kind of you know solve this uh, question so let's see what we can do now see here i am only getting user id I'm just saving this purchase date as a first purchase and then I will need basically one more purchase which is again purchase date and I will just name it called second purchase okay 
Now to show you, I'll just uh, see what I'm basically doing. Okay, so I'm selecting this user ID from the first table. Now I'm doing inner join. So I'll be basically getting all the users ID that exists in both the table. So I'm saying A1 of user ID. Now this one I'm getting basically from again A1, which is our first table. And this one is I'm getting from A2, which is our second table basically, right? So now I will basically get all these details. Now what I want is basically the difference between the first purchase date and the second purchase date is less than equals to seven. So the second purchase date, I first I want that first purchase date to be smaller than the you know basically second purchase date. So I can add a conditions here in the join. I can go ahead and say that a one of purchase date, a one of purchase date is basically what smaller than a two of purchase date. Okay, so this is my first condition then only basically join now i will add one more conditions which is where i would say that uh, end this a1 purchase date and this a2 purchase date so basically these are day right let's say if some customer let's just give some example like this customer first purchase date of this customer which is third march right the second purchase date which is second march so i don't want this one right i want the first purchase is the earliest then the second purchase now what i want is basically the difference between the first purchase and second purchase is basically within seven days then i want the data right now what i want simply is that the difference between first and second purchase date is seven days so i would need to say the second purchase date which is the larger one because first i'm selecting all the data right where the first purchase date is the smaller one now i'm saying the second purchase date minus second purchase date minus the first purchase date equals less than equals basically less than equals seven so i'm saying that okay select all the users id and their first purchase and second purchase date okay only if the first purchase and second purchase date that means only second purchase date minus first purchase date is basically less than equals seven now how do you identify the first purchase date and the second purchase date difference so let's just give some example let's say i purchase something on today which is 19th of march so 19th of march and let's say I have purchased something on let's say 15th of March right so 15th of March now if you see the difference between 15th and 19th so first I need to basically minus the second purchase right second purchase because second purchase is the bigger one isn't it second purchase minus the first purchase now I need to see the difference how many days it is coming so you can see if it is like from 19 to basically 15 how many days it is going to be it's going to be four days right so it's going to be four days now what I'm saying here right it this value this value has to be less than equals to seven that that means it could be one two three four five six up to seven right this is what this condition is saying then select the users and the select the first purchase date second purchase date just to verify okay now i can here also you know basically uh, just for you i can basically you know uh, just uh, print this one which is minus uh, second purchase date minus first purchase date to see how many that what is the difference you know in numbers okay if i just run this query now you will see all the users id let's see okay i missed a comma here now if i run this query you will see all the users id and their first purchase and second purchase and the difference between uh, these two basically purchase now you can see we are getting all the basically users id and their first purchase date now this user id and their first purchase date is basically 18 and then the second purchase is 21 that means within three days the user has made a second purchase now again with the this user which is 128 so first purchase is basically 24 and then let's see when is the second purchase date uh, we can we can do some order by 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 maybe this user id okay here i can say say order by by one which is the user id <laughs> now if i run it now i have all the users id which is 100 so the first purchase date is this one now you can see the first purchase date this is the first purchase date and this is the second purchase date so basically i'm minusing from second purchase date first purchase date i'm getting six days which is basically under seven days that means the user has purchased the second uh you know purchase within seven days right so that's the reason we're selecting this user now similarly this user first purchase 29 second purchase 31 so within two days and similarly we're getting all the users who has basically done at least two purchase and the first purchase and the second purchase is basically within seven days right now we are getting basically same users multiple record because same user has done multiple purchase right maybe three times four times but we only want to select one user you know that is basically our you know main objective it says output list of users of this returning active users and then we can call this users as active users now i can just give a call here name is now i can give a name here as called active active users 
okay now i have given a name here active users now i don't need these things for the you know question so i can just comment it out and delete it for now now if i just run it okay i will be getting the same output but only the users id i may get duplicate user as well so you see only one user i'm getting multiple times so i can simply now use a distinct functions here okay i can just go ahead and see distinct and a one of user id and if i run it this time i have 17 users now you can see all these users id i'm basically deleting the duplicates at the moment i'm getting all the distinct user id who has done at least a two purchase and the second purchase minus first purchase difference is basically less than equals to seven days right so this is how i have solved these questions guys now if you see i have joined both the table which is basically the same table with itself and i have used the distinct functions at the end and i have basically kept the difference between the second purchase and the first purchase which is less than equals to seven now i have a challenge a task for you so that you can practice the same questions and the task is that find the users who has not purchased anything for seven days after making their first purchase and uh, but done a second purchase after seven days so basically the user has done first purchase then has not purchased anything within next seven days but after seven days the user has done the second purchase so basically i need all the users id distinct user id you can write down your solution in the comment box i will check them and let you know if you are correct now to download this data i'm going to basically add a github link in the video descriptions you can download this data and copy into your basically you know pg admin 4 or whatever the tools you are using and create the table and then you can basically practice these questions that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you really like my content do subscribe to my youtube channel have a good day take care